victory will be sweet for either Diana Parazzo or Jungle Kiona here tonight. I'm glad she brought the candy. We can make candy puns all match. It'd be great. Well, we are not stepping into candy land here tonight. It is the squared circle here at Roseland 4, Wake the Dead. And fun and games aside, Jungle Kiona and Diana Parazzo know what a platform like this means. They, they, know, they know what a victory against either opponent would mean. Jungle Kiona, a, 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 a pillar of women's wrestling in Japan. Absolutely. Diana Perrazzo, we mentioned her accolades in Impact Wrestling, in Ring of Honor, and beyond. For Jungle to beat Diana or vice versa would be one of the biggest notches on either's belt. Kiona is a former three-time goddess of stardom champion, a former three-time artist of stardom champ. That's trios and tag, respectively. She knows how to get it done and win championship gold. But I do want to point out that uh, this recent uh, American expedition of Jungle Kiona that's taken place over the last couple months is actually the first time she's competed in over two years. So while this is not her first match back, perhaps a little bit of ring rust compared to Diana Perrazzo, who has absolutely been on fire in those two years since she's been gone. That's right, Kiona though, she's been making a bit of a comeback. We saw her on AEW Dark recently. Yes, indeed we did. Against but, former uh, AEW world champion, Rio. But right now, appearances aside, Diana Perrazzo stomping oh. on the fingers of Jungle Kiona. Absolutely merciless is the master of the Fujiwara armbar. I'll tell you what, one of the first matches I saw of Jungle Kiona was a match against Kagetsu in stardom. Yes. And she may have been on the losing end of that match, but I have never become more of a fan of a wrestler in defeat than I did from seeing that exhibition. Right now, a a accolades and impressive acumen aside, Jungle Kiona just being absolutely dominated by Diana Perrazzo, who, who's so smart on the part of the Virtuosa to wear down that arm to make it more susceptible to the Fujiwara armbar, that signature maneuver, that finishing maneuver of hers I down mean, the line. She's got a game plan and she sticks to it, so you gotta appreciate that. I wonder if uh, Jungle Kiona maybe had a little too much fun, maybe took her eye off the ball. As great as it was, as, 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 as much as it endeared her to the Roseland faithful, maybe throwing out the candy and, and, and having a fun time here wasn't the best bet because it gave the Virtuosa the opportunity to take control as she has. This has really been all Parazzo. Oh, so. but you gotta make way for the Virtuosa though because don't count her out. She's very confident, she's very skilled. She knows what she's gotta do. And look at that, oh, checks her. She's got to check Jungle Kiona down to the mat. Virtuosa just dominating Kiona here. This one might be over quick. Uh, Kiona has traveled a long way for this match. If you'd hate to see her have to go back to Japan with a defeat on her hands. Well, maybe not if she keeps up the shoulder tackles like that. And it seems like she will. Nice. Third time's the charm against the ropes. Headbutt there, leg hooked. Good follow through, I like that. Good little sequence of moves there. Yeah, you, you, gotta, you gotta pile it on, you gotta make those combos work for you. You do, especially when you've been beaten down in the early goings as Deanna Perrazzo has beat her down. The early goings, as we mentioned, they serve to set the pace. If Deanna Perrazzo is in control in the early goings, it's gonna be an uphill battle Whoop. to take that control from her down the line. Nice. But suplexes like that are a good start if you're the jungle princess. Gotta love it. Both women are tenacious. Oh, and they're tough. And they can pack quite a punch. Big or in that case, kick a kick. by there into the head scissors there by Jungle Kiona. Nice. Has Some, it cinched in. Sometimes a simple move like a head scissors, you want to wear down and deprive your opponent of the oxygen. And that gives you time to really restore your own sense of where you are. And look at this, now she's trying to... She's, she's trying hold, to wrench on the arm. Hold the arm back. Uh, of the arm oh. bar specialist. She's pretty smart. Grab those ropes. Makes it harder to cinch in the arm bar if you yourself have an injured arm. That's Look at right. Kiona there, feeding off the faithful here in Portland. Sometimes the best offense is a good defense. Deanna Perrazzo proving that in spades here. Ducking the clothesline. Ooh, block that. And now, gonna cinch oh, it in. Here we go. Are we gonna see that Fujiwara arm bar? Not if Jungle Kiona has anything to say about it. Big kick there, yeah, catches her flush, and did you hear that forearm, Zane? That's right, you gotta look out though, Deanna ends up pulling out the Venus de Milo, the two-armed arm bar, kinda like a Rings of Saturn, if you will. 
Yeah, but now both women are down. Jungle Kiona able to make it to her feet first. And, and the tables have truly turned here. Kiona with a scoop slam, maybe thinking up to the top rope. We've seen that elbow drop, very effective from the Jungle Princess. Jungle, jungle. And now we see Deonda though stopping her in her tracks. A top turnbuckle, things can be very devastating for one of these ladies or both. Yeah, each shot wearing the other down that much more. Back and forth they go. Deanna's on those spaghetti legs, but she has not given up yet. Oh, no. Oh. My God. Back and forth here. Here we go. Things getting uh, a lot more, a lot more potential, a lot less room for error once you're up on the top rope. And now Jungle who has the wherewithal to get down. Could be setting up for something big here, maybe a power bomb, Jordan. Thinking power bomb here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, but Deanna. Mercifully for her sake, able to roll oh. out a dodge, but not able to dodge that shot. I mean, good presence of mind to wiggle her way off the shoulders and land on her feet. That definitely saved her from some, some real punishment. Russian leg sweep, oh, here and Deanna rolls oh. over, keeps the arm. Right into it. Locks that Fujiwara arm oh. bar in, and Jungle Kiona might have no choice but to tap. And that shot tells the story of the pain etched in the face of Jungle Kiona. This could be it right here. Wait a minute. Oh, she gets that foot on the ropes. I was going to say, I didn't think she was in position to that, reach that arm over. The foot was her only saving grace. That was some good ring awareness. But did you see how long Deanna held on to it after the initial rope well, break? She stretched. She milked that five count for the best she could. I don't, I don't need to see it. Look at the way the Jungle was clutching her arm. Deanna thinking pile driver here. Kick to the gut. Oh, nice following her. Not giving her a chance to build momentum off the ropes. Jungle Kiona here, wow. catching her with a big clothesline into the cover, but did not hook the leg. Yep. And I think that's what cost her. I mean, so often you see that happening, and it really boils down to the fundamentals. Look at Kiona here, feeding off of Portland. She's showing what she's got, and the fans in Portland like what they see. One in the chamber! to quote one James Kincaid, but Deanna Perrazzo able to get it a dodge. Kiona able to get it a dodge of Perrazzo's clothesline, hands her one of her own, sends her oh. against the turnbuckle, and another one to boot. That's right, Jungle is pouring it on here. And now, look at this, oh, oh the Jungle Buster. the Jungle Buster! This could be all she wrote for Deanna Perrazzo! Devastating maneuver here, this could be it if she pulls it off! Oh! Jungle! Busted! Oh my God, you see the impact on the neck and the back. That's it. Gotta be. Yeah. It is. Jungle Kiona beats the Virtuosa.